17 states require high school students to take a course in personal finance, and Pennsylvania is not one of them. And that means it is up to the parents. And now it's a great time to do that with all of your financial documents, getting them together for taxes due on Tuesday, of course. Christine Sorensen here now with how to get that conversation with your kids started in today's Kidsburg Report. Christine. Well, Julie and Stacy, I visited a local school where they're teaching kids by helping them open their own savings accounts and encouraging them to save a little every week. And we can all learn from from this example and do the same thing with our own kids. Damir Rodling learns math, English, science, all the traditional subjects in eighth grade at Propel Charter School Homestead. But he's also learning personal finance. Each week, he goes to the front office to deposit money into his savings account through the Fund My Future program. I earn it from like doing dishes, cleaning my room, cleaning the house, just chores and stuff. Damir's been saving a few dollars to 20 bucks a week since the program started when he was in third grade. He now has more than $1,000 saved for college. Tony Corandialdi runs the program at all Propel schools inspired by research. The research has shown that children with bank accounts in their names are three times more likely to go to college and four times more likely to graduate. As an incentive when they make their deposit, the kids are all enrolled in a raffle where they can win money and they get to pick a snack or gift like this t-shirt. It does help motivate me. It help, makes me feel like there's something else other, like I could get something right now instead of having to wait for the future to get the money. Tony says for many families, the account they open through Fund My Future is their first bank account ever. This past fall, the program expanded beyond the 13 Propel schools to allow any family in Allegheny County to sign up and start their savings account at any bank they want. It's one of many ways parents can help teach their kids about money. We as parents have to have the mindset that this is our responsibility to teach kids about money. Certified financial planner Kerry Coghill, CEO of Coghill Investment Strategies, knows money is a taboo subject in many families. In fact, 69 percent of parents have some reluctance to discuss money with their kids, and 61 percent only talk about money when their kids ask. Kerry wants to change that with regular discussions of how we choose to spend, save, and share our money. Make it Money Monday or, you know, Finance Friday and make that the topic of dinner conversation. She suggests other ways to teach your kids about money. Take them to the bank and explain that money from the ATM isn't free. Let them make the financial decisions on a summer outing like a trip to the zoo or Kennywood. Use cash so they can see how much money is actually being spent. Find out what they really want and then teach them the discipline to save up for it with an allowance. And help them make the connection between school and money to instill the motivation to do their best. Why do they go to school? They go to school to learn skills so that they can get a job to support themselves someday. And if you want a quick and easy way to teach your kids about money, visit Propel Braddock Hills High School tonight from 6 to 7.30. 60 students in their personal finance class will be showcasing practical money matters in their financial literacy fair. They're going to have games, activities, brochures to take home. It's free, and there are refreshments and a raffle. And, of course, you can get more on this and how to enroll in the Fund My Future program at kdka.com slash kidsburg. We'll link you to the Kidsburg website. There's also a list of some fun games that kids can play to learn about money, both online and actual physical games. And there's also some great books as well. All the information you shared was so <laughs> helpful, Christine. And something else you shared with us in, in your research and doing this report, mm -hmm. you told us that 57% of Americans have less than $1,000 saved. Exactly. Stunning. And that's yeah. what points to the fact that we all need to learn. It's not just kids. Adults really need these lessons, too. And we've got yes. a, some links as well to some books that parents can read so that they can educate themselves and then educate their kids. just want Fantastic. to make sure about this thing, that, uh -huh. that the money from the ATM is not free. <laughs> not the, when I take it out. Maybe when you do. <laughs> I, just want, we I, just want, I just wanted John Burnett to hear that one more time. <laughs> well, my kids thought it was. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. Great All right, point. Christine, thanks. thanks.